special team of the week 84 Gabriel Martinelli is here and I couldn't be happier the Arsenal Brazilian main man tore it up at the weekend against Liverpool scoring and assisting in a crucial win for the Gunners who sit top of the table in the Premier League this card has four star skills and three star weak foot with incredible in games electric pace tantalizing dribbling and beautiful shooting he comes out of packs as a left mid but he has a secondary position as a left winger player traits are off the charts finesse shot out to the foot shot and flair i couldn't be more excited to try this guy out let's get right into the first game and see what he can do it's match day go go martinelli go whip it in to isak get that assist just like the weekend Ooh. come on what a sight his first touch of the ball is just a beautiful control who would have thought not me Go, Gabby. Gabby Martinelli on the break. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. Near post. No, no. Oh, my days. Why? That's my fault. He has to go, blood. Oh, my God. Martinelli literally spun him. Literally He's spun him. Oh, my days. Well, this guy's electric. Oh, Easy. Yeah. Easy. Gabriel Martinelli. An assist and a goal, just like at the weekend, just like the reason he got 84 rated team of the week card. Martinelli holding up the ball, holding up the ball and sends him. Sends Christy. Why is he such a facilitator, bro? Near post finish, near post finish. Oh my god, Martinelli! The oh, what is, bro? My heart just sunk. My heart literally just sunk. He hit the post and then got the rebound and scored after making the oh, rage quit. Yeah, of course. Rage quit. First game with Martinelli. Two goals and an assist. And we get a rage quit. It's at the first half. On to the next one. The YouTube Kings bet me you can't subscribe to the channel before this pack finishes opening. Hit subscribe and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Oh my god. Oh. No. Oh my days. He's literally cooking everyone on the left stick. We just couldn't get that shot to go on his three star weak foot. Heal the heal. Cop it. He's so nice, bro. He's actually so nice. Little heel, little, little heel to heel action. What you saying? Martinelli, pace, pace. Oh my God. Back to Isak, back to, back to, back to. What just happened? There is no passion. There is no vision. What just happened? Were we playing ping pong or Wait, something? What did he say? Oh my days. I wasn't even thinking he was going to get there. Wow. What? Oh my days, aerial threat, Gabby Martinelli. That's the, that's the plus, that's the plus. What is it? Plus six overall upgrade to this inform. Oh my God, oh my God, what is he doing, bro? What did this guy do? Ball, oh my days, look at that. Look at this dribble, look at this dribble combination. Oh my days. No, we lose the ball. Bro, but that was so nice. This is actually one of my favorite cards. So fun, I'm having an absolute blast right now. You say so? Interception, baby. Interception. He can do it all. He's actually one of the most passionate players in the world. Trust me when I say that. On the ball right now, boys. But be sure to stay tuned because we're going to outline the chem style to put on Martinelli to make him the most overpowered card in the game. And look at all the great links that this guy gets. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my days, bro. Why? This is actually... I, I'm not even over-exaggerating when I say this is the best value card in the game. 30k I paid for him. You're joking. And he's scored, I think, six goals. Six, seven goals, assisted a couple. He's moving mad. No one's catching him for pace. 92 pace, 86 dribbling, and 77 shooting. And the shooting feels really good. He hasn't missed very many shots. Oh, my God. Finish it. Finish it. Yes, 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 yes. This is 77 shooting, but we're back in the lead. 4-3. We were down. We were down, and then we came back, and it's all because we're just... Oh, look at this hyper motion replay. Oh, no. Don't skip it, bro. You're salty. You're salty. Yo, y'all wildin'. Oh, my God. Even then. Even in the... Oh, that's that. Okay, okay, okay. This is the only weak weakness with the card is the weak foot. It's kind of ironic, but you see that on his left foot in the end of the game. He does have stamina because he's still really rapid. He's just a selling on the weak foot. The three star weak foot is definitely a bit of a concern, but you are paying 30K, so you get what you get. You know what I mean? For 31K, this is one of the best value wingers you can get with the Brazilian and Arsenal Prem links. 
easy chemistry. Easy chemistry. You can use any Arsenal player, Gabriel Jesus, Saliba. I've been really loving this Saliba card, so I think he's a great pickup for 1.9K. Also, this Martinelli card will probably go down in value as it is still day one. This is about six or seven hours after this card was released. We played two games, scored six goals, one assist, four star skills, three star weak foot, and we can definitely feel the weak foot at times, especially towards the end of matches. I would say become a bit hesitant, a bit suspect of the left foot, but anytime before that, I would say the first half, let it rip. He can really do it with the 82 shooting, but shot power at 76 is a bit low. Attack positioning was really good. I like the finishing pace. Incredible 93 acceleration 91 sprint speed at the high acceleration and the lower sprint speed But the gap being two is a perfect gap where you can feel like he has a really quick first step But also where he's not super super slow in a straight line in a straight line He was great. No one could really catch him passing wise I don't think passing is super important for Martinelli But if you want to play him on the wing, which I recommend you do 81 crossing 82 vision 79 curve. He's got good stats for a winger. Those are the three that I look at versus short passing and long passing for a central player. And then the dribbling 88 agility, 85 balance. If you've watched Gabriel Martinelli in real life this season, you know that those stats are probably not not even close to where they should be for this card, but he did get a very hefty upgrade with, from his gold card. 83 reactions, 85 ball control, and 88 dribbling as well. 83 heading accuracy. We did see him score that headed goal. I was very surprised. I did not think he had that kind of heading accuracy. He is 5'10", so he's pretty tall that he can get up there. Not good jumping, but he does have good stamina. 86 stamina is really solid, in my opinion. If you look at someone like Isak has 68 stamina, that is absolutely grim. Muriel has 73 stamina, awful as well. Maybe even, I don't know what Luis Diaz's stamina is. Luis Diaz, 84 stamina. So he's right around that range, but he has a little bit higher stamina than these guys. And then we talked about the traits earlier. They are great and you can definitely feel them in game. But one thing I want to outline for you guys real quick is just the importance of this upgrade. It's really ridiculous how insane this upgrade is because it's plus six. His overall, his, his base card is 78 and he went up to 84. Pace goes up from 87 to 92. Dribbling goes up six. Shooting goes up six. Like this is an insane upgrade and it's so worth it for 30K. 30K, you don't have to pay 10 extra K for each upgrade. It's like 10K is plus two overall upgrade from his gold card. It is insane. The amount, this one has four star skills, three star weak foot as well and the same traits and obviously the links as well. But. This guy's just on a different level, bro. The pace, the dribbling, the shooting, everything combined is un unreal. And then obviously you have all the Arsenal strong links. I would say Odegaard is a really good shout. Maybe even Inform Saliba is really good. Jesus, those are the those are the three that I would go with as of now for strong links. And obviously Gabriel Jesus is a perfect link. So that would get his chem all done and dusted. And there obviously are just Brazilians from the Prem. Casemiro, Ederson, Allison, Fabinho, Thiago Silva, if you did that objective, or to the SBC, Lucas Paqueta, and then you have obviously just the normal Brazilian cards, obviously all the icons. Neymar is a really, really good shout if you have that and you want to build some sort of hybrid. Marquinhos as well. And then probably like Vinny Jr. would be the only other one that I would really use and, and, and maybe Rafinha. But I really have nothing but great things to say about this card. If you see a beast or a bum, it's not even a question. He's an absolute beast. I would give him a 9.3. 9.3 out of 10 in that 0.7 that we're missing. I, no, no, no. I'm going to go 9. 9 flat solely down to the weak foot. 9 flat solely down to the weak foot because if he was 4-star, four 4-star, four I would... I don't think I'd ever take him out of my team. I don't think I'd ever take him out of my team. Usually I sell players after player reviews. This guy, I think I might just keep him. 31K seems like a bargain to me. Looks like that price may go down a bit. If you if you snipe him at a good time, you could get him for like three, 4K cheaper if you don't have the coins. But 31K is really easy to obtain and it is a great way to spend your coins. Great value, great links. Overall, great player. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.